Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I'm in my mutant platooned up with Drewski. He's in his defender or object 252U. And then also size tunic, which is my dad uh, in his T34. My dad doesn't play this too often, um, but it is fun because it's something that we enjoy doing together. Um, and you don't always have to go over to his house to play it. Um, we get time to play it together. Um, and this is an older video since we are in, still in the MSC clan and now we move over to the DMND clan, which is considered, I guess, quote unquote, my clan. Um, just didn't really play with the MSC boys too much anymore, so I decided the gold that I earned through the seasonal ops, I would just fire up my own clan as a CC. I don't know. Just wanted to change it up since I didn't really play with the MSC boys anymore. All right. So on this map, I love to go down one, two, three line, smash it, win it, and then either push out through the middle or go back and defend your base, depending on what the A90 looks like. Looks like we sent one heavy to the A90. We have a scout sitting by Artie, which potentially is going to get vision when they come. And then we pretty much sent our whole team down one, two, three. So we feel like we need to push this hard. So getting into this dip is one of the key important tactics to win this map. If you take too long to win this side when you've sent your whole team, their 890 flank is going to be very effective. If you are not in a heavy tank and you don't have gun depression, you can't really push this out then maybe H4 is a good position. Um, you can give cover fire in the north, but also be set up to shoot the 890 once they push it out. And then we take a position on top of this hill. They got a couple of German super heavies there. Mutant, one of my favorite tanks to play. It's my second tier eight that I three marked. This thing, just crank silver out. It's kind of tricky to play because when you're against people that know how to pen you, um, you obviously can't hide the weak points that well, like I didn't do there. But one of the biggest problems is just how big this thing is. Like you can't hide it, it doesn't have side armor. Um, so the side of the turret, the side of the tank is very squishy and they can get shots in your cheeks, your shoulders, your sides, and if they have a big enough gun, premium rounds are going to go through the lower plate as well. So, and it's got the cupola on top, which also can get pen, but it's a little bit trickier. Um, I actually like when people shoot at my cupola because it's not an easy shot to make. Now it looks like our team's crumbling. I have thrown all my hit points away. Drewski also is beat to crap. And we just lost two Nick, so. I'm going to go take the corner. And I arguably probably should have been there the whole time. Um, I just felt like we had a lot of tanks on the corner. So me being on the corner would have just made it that much more busy. And I really haven't got much damage here. I've only gotten 650 damage. I've pretty much lost all my hit points in trying to get the damage. We are able to shut down the Mauerbrecher, and our scout is pushing on artillery. At this point, I feel like if we can kill Artie, um, you know, that'll be a success. Now, one of my goals is to win the 1 2 3 before their 8 9 0 starts to flank. And it looks like we did that. Um, even though we pretty much purged all our hit points, we lose Drewski to the Oho. But it is 9 to 9, and we potentially. How many times have I said potentially? I feel like I've said it a lot this game. Everybody take a shot whenever I say potentially. Alright. Now the scouts are swarming my TDs. I auto-locked the LTG, which was a mistake, and I really feel like I 
just cannot get my shells in the way I want to. Finally, we get a shell into that LTG, but he's going to be flanking us, and he is fast, so we want to make sure that we kill him right here. Kind of swerves over, and then the gun depression gets a shot in. Now I'm even lower hit points. My medium comes back just in time. Open that he comes over. Decides not to come over. The Indian Panzer pushes him away. And we try to snap a shot off there. And we do not damage him, but we do crit him. Our Indian Panzer misses him. And then ends up ramming him to death. Alright, so there's a full health purging. We know the OO is pushing middle. Not sure what the other heavy is. Um, but at this point, we're just going to take one tank at a time. Just me and this Indian Panzer. I'm hoping that the Indian Panzer can at least keep the OO busy. Alright, here's the heavy tank. What is it? Uh, full health defender. Well, that's not fun. Especially with little no hit points, this is going to be a tough task. I have to make my shots count if we're going to make this happen. So we get a shot into his lower plate. Arguably should have shot him in the back of the head since that this is where his ammo rack is. Pershing comes in to give him an assist. And I decide that the Pershing is probably more dangerous to me than the defender is. So if I lose my Indian Panzer, at least I can fight this defender heads up. Um, the Pershing is going to be hard since he can out-traverse my turret. We're able to shut the defender down, take out the Pershing, and now what looks like just a sad, sad game went from 400 damage to 2800 damage and now 3000 damage and a victory. Did not think we were going to pull that out. Man, that was fun. Hot stuff at the end. And had I just actually hit my shots early, it probably wouldn't have been that close. But sometimes that's how RNG works. And my gunner picked it up at the end. Thank God for the Indian Panzer since he kept the defender busy. Uh, we take 3,000 damage, 900 assisted, 1,600 blocked. Get an ace, steel wall, and I message that Indian Panzer right away. Like, thanks, buddy. Couldn't have done it without you. Just some mutant fun. Now, when I say fun, potentially, I mean fun because we won, and I ended up turning the game around. But it was very frustrating at the beginning. But I'll quit babbling. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.